being able to hand solder small components like O402 will definitely make you more competent. Also, O402s are extremely small. You can see how small they are comparing to my finger. They could be soldered with ease if you follow my instructions. First, you need a good soldering iron with a fine tip. Heat up your iron and the tint tip with some solder. If your iron tip turns black and the solder doesn't bond to the tip, it is time to replace it because the tip is most likely oxidized due to overheat. So keep the tip temperature around 750 and make sure to turn it off when it's not in use. My second secret is those modular boxes, which are used to store small components. They will save you tons of time and help get job done efficiently. Now, let's do the real job. If you're right-handed, hold iron in right hand. Your left hand will help either feed the solder or handle the component with tweezers. Always orient the target footprint in the left-right direction. So you can tint the right pad first, then drop in the component from left and the solder on its right. Simply move on to next component and work on the right side only. You will switch to the left side in the end to finish up. If you have good hand control, the whole process is just a matter of couple touching. And the board turns on. Great!